The 21st of August 1997 was a momentous day in the history of British music. There was a band of the name Oasis that were releasing a record album called Be Here Now. And in fact, the previous night before, it was so anticipated this album, people were taking their tents and camping outside all the record stores all over England and Scotland and Wales just to purchase this uh, new record, which was so anticipated. There was actually a teenage boy that camped the night before from 11 with his tent and was waiting and he was the first person in this district to actually purchase the album the next morning so anticipated and it went on to sell half a million copies on its first day of release alone making it the fastest selling record in British history this teenage boy got me thinking you know he's uh, camped from the previous night with such devotion such enthusiasm for this uh, illustrious record which is gonna come about you know which everyone is anticipating so it got me thinking that last week in Parshat Vayetranan, where we learned about how Moshe Rabbeinu yearned to come to Israel and prayed 515 times, in the afternoon service of Mincha on Shabbat, we uh, read already Parshat Ekeb, which is this week's Parsha. We're already looking forward to, on the Shabbat Mincha previously, for this week's Parsha coming. We're already counting it away. And uh, it's naturally, on uh, every weekday in the morning service, we actually do a prayer for that specific day respect respectively itself. On Sunday, we do the prayer for Sunday. We call it Hayom Yom Rishon. And then we say on, Yom she on Monday, Yom Sheni, we do the tefillah of Yom Shlishi on Tuesday, all the way till we get to Hayom Yom Shabbat, Shabbat itself. Each day we count towards, we're gearing towards the Shabbat. And you know, each day of the week, we try and learn more. We try and infuse ourselves with more, more knowledge and uh, more grasp. So that will be ready for the Shabbat itself. Every day we prepare a little bit for Shabbat. And on the Thursday, Friday itself, we buy the goods for Shabbat. We go to the shop whenever we purchase a fish or meat or chicken for Shabbat or the salads we say Lichvod Shabbat Kodesh for the honor the glamorous of Shabbat itself and uh, that's what we're doing the whole week the whole week we're counting down to this momentous occasion of the Shabbat of the Sabbath itself and this teenage guy teaches us who was waiting for this record for, for weeks and months and finally came to the day he grabbed it that what we should be doing throughout the week is saying you know how can we make this Shabbat uh, an unforgettable Shabbat experience for ourselves how we can spend better time with the family this week how we can uh, mold our relationship with our parents or with our wives our spouses this week coming and uh, you can uh, we can grab you know the all the items who want to do it and it's actually interesting that it was 25 years ago to this weekend where this fastest selling album was actually released and actually in fact they're re-releasing the album and one of the people said I listened in an interview that they didn't necessarily appreciate at the time they didn't live through the moment that you know it was a fastest selling album they didn't enjoy and grasp the moment and it's actually interesting that uh, these coming parshiot, this parshiot we just said, Dbarim, Ba'it Khanan, we did Masse in Bamidbar, and also Ekev, it's recounting what we went through in the Midbar, in the wilderness, for those uh, 40 years, where we stopped in 42 different destinations. And it's also called the Mishnah Torah, said the Dbarim is, and it's a place where repeating what actually took place in all those different locations, because our life is a journey sometimes we go somewhere sometimes we're, we're doing something but we're not living it so the Torah itself is teaching us you know to uh, live those moments again you know when we're experiencing something to enjoy the things that we're experiencing whatever it might be with a family life or whatever it might be with uh, within a job experience or within regards to a religious experience we should actually live the moment not just be passengers that are taking part in it we should actually be living it and that's why the people that were really releasing this record they want to relive the moment itself but we've got this record 52 weeks of the year to experience we've got the Torah itself which is the most precious item in the world these are the things we should be queuing up for the whole week we should be queuing up in a line every night when we go to sleep we do a cheshbon nefesh. how can we make the next day better how can we make the be better to the other people to our friends our family and everything else we should be doing a cheshbon and getting excited for the next morning every morning we get we can uh, look at ourselves of breaking a record we should be breaking our our own personal records with the mitzvot we do with a chesed we do with uh, the way we treat other people the, the way we are to our wives and 
We should learn from that, from this teenage boy with his enthusiasm, how much he wanted to grasp a re music record, how much we could break our own records every single day. And uh, this coming Shabbat is Parsha Tekev, and uh, we could be doing so much in Shabbat, making it the best Shabbat we have ever experienced. I want to wish you all a fantastic Shabbat. This is in uh, memory of uh, Ahuva Bat Chaya Chiria, and have a great one. Enjoy.